Why hello there ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to be doing a license plate inlay on this Honda Accord Sport. So stick along if you'd like to see how it's done. I'm going to be doing a voiceover to explain certain parts of the process that you will be seeing here on your screen. So this first step right here is the clay bar process. You're going to need water and soap and your clay bar of choice. One thing to keep in mind is when you are clay barring your vehicle, do horizontal and vertical motions because if you do any type of circular motion you are risking the chance of creating swirl marks in your paint. Now that you've finished clay barring the area what you're going to want to do is grab that microfiber towel and just wipe down all the soap and water that's left over then go ahead and grab yourself some alcohol and also wipe that down just so you can remove any grease that's on there, any wax if a car has ever been waxed because vinyl will not really stick well to wax and grease. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so you guys can get to the part where I use the knifeless tape. It's going to be very important that you guys use this because if you guys are putting a knife to the blade so you guys can cut the vinyl, it's not going to be too pretty especially if you're a beginner. You're going to go ahead and scratch into the paint and you really don't want that. And now here you guys can see me laying down that knifeless tape that I was talking about. I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch me do it. And please, if you guys ever have any questions, if anything that you guys have seen I haven't explained too well, please just go ahead and ask in the comments below. I will be answering any questions. So just let me know. Now that I've finished putting the knifeless tape down, I'm just going to pass my finger right on top of it, applying a little bit of pressure just to make sure that it doesn't lift up. Also, make sure you grab a heat gun, pass a little bit of heat on top of the green tape and apply more pressure to make sure it sticks very well. Because if you go ahead and add the vinyl, the, the last thing that you want is for that little green tape to lift up while you're repositioning the film and you're going to end up with a crooked line and just a big headache because you finished everything you needed to do and the last step was to pull the green string and I had to do it all over again. So just make sure the green tape is on there very nicely. Now what you're going to want to do is grab your vinyl. For this car you don't really need much. I think it was like 3 inches by maybe like almost a foot just to be safe. Now you're simply just going to roll the backing paper off of the vinyl and you're going to start working from the outside to the inside. You can work inside to outside but I feel like if you do it that way there's uh, more of a possibility of you getting wrinkles and trying to work that out is just going to be a pain. Then you're going to slowly just start working the material in. If you have a glove, it's just going to help you uh, slide your fingers that much easier. And using your fingers sometimes is better than using a squeegee. Because the squeegee is just a flat surface. And when you come to these, I guess like a, ed, like I would say like these dips, the squeegee is just not too good. One more thing to note, those little plastic circles that are there for you to screw in the license plate you're gonna want to go ahead and stretch over it and place down the vinyl so you don't get any wrinkles the bottom two that i did you could kind of see but the last one i was moving the trunk a little bit too high up so it was better for me to see so i apologize for that but just rewind a little bit if you need to see it over again and you'll have a better look at it so right here i'll just be tucking in the rest of the material so I could cut away any excess and after all the excess is cut off I'll be able to pull that knifeless tape you guys will see in a second just how that works
So pretty much now it's time to pull the vinyl. You're gonna grab one finger and meet it where the vinyl and the string meets. Place down on it with your other hand, pull the string, and then you're set. Just pull it all the way through at a like 30 degree angle and you should get a very straight line. Now for this part, which is uh, I believe the last step, you're just going to be cutting the excess vinyl that is still remaining on the tail light. What you can do is cut a little bit extra so by putting the blade on the back side of the tail light and cut like that so you have a little bit to tuck in, it'll be just enough to hide that red. For this part, I'm about to start cutting the little circles where you put the screw in for the license plate. Just uh, use your squeegee to push it in the most you can. And then I know you can't see it much, but you're going to not cut on the paint, but cut. you could cut on the little plastic piece that goes uh, where the screw goes and just make a, like, a little circle around it and remove the rest that's on top and finish tucking in a little bit. So you can see on this one right here, it's cutting around the edge on the plastic which is totally fine and then you'll see me pop off that little remainder once I'm done tucking it in all right you see right there just grab my knife finish cutting around tuck in a little bit more cut a little bit more once I'm done cutting it you'll see me lift up the vinyl with a the knife there it is and tuck in a little bit more if I have to that's it and then just do the rest for the other two Now that that's all done, always remember to grab your heat gun or your torch and post heat afterwards so not, nothing pops back out, especially that little recess that's right there. Since it was, uh, the vine that was pressed in there, there's a possibility of popping out once like the sun heats it up and it cools down, it just moves around. So by heating it up, you're just killing any type of memory that the vinyl has and it's just going to prevent it from lifting up. I know it's not really noticeable because the license plate is going to go right there but you still want to do it like this because it's just the right way. Right here you'll just see me putting the license plate back on and just make sure you don't scratch the vinyl when you're putting it back on but besides that just enjoy the rest of the video. So this video is about coming to an end. If you have liked this video, please drop a like on it. If you have disliked it, go ahead, drop that dislike if you have to. But at least let me know what I can improve on my future videos because I will be creating much more content. And you guys can also go onto my Instagram and check out all the work that I've done at Impeccable Raps. Or if you're coming from there to this YouTube video, thank you for supporting. There's much more content waiting. The more work that I get, the more content that I could put out. So thanks again for all of you guys supporting me. I'll see you guys on the next video. It's a wrap.